defending from the old Hungry champion of the world, the fighting pride of the Philippines, Manny Pacman. Happy Meet Russell Crowe a fierce fighter and a gallant gladiator whom you have challenged to a fight. But you have a secret up your sleeve. Instead of fighting the real Russell Crowe, you instead created a decoy, a man made out of straw that looks like the real Russell Crowe, but will be easy to defeat in the ring. Sure enough, you knock this straw man out with one punch and claim yourself victorious over Russell Crowe. But you didn't actually beat Russell Crowe in a fight, you cheater. You set up a weaker version that you could easily defeat, and then claimed you beat the real Russell Crowe, even though you didn't. When discussing ideas, or arguing about whatever it is you may argue about, this rather common charade is known as a straw man fallacy, a clever name for cheating in arguments. Creating one is simple. Take an argument, whatever it may be, and then change it to a weaker, easier to defeat decoy argument. After debunking the decoy, claim victory over the original argument. For example, if Max argues taking showers is beneficial, a straw man argument might be, well, scalding hot water may damage your skin. The initial argument of taking showers as beneficial was changed to the more extreme and weaker version taking scalding hot showers as beneficial, and then argued against as if it was the original argument. Notice in this example, a straw man argument can actually be a valid argument on its own. Scalding hot water indeed may damage your skin. This is a diversion that can make straw man arguments extra seductive. A straw man argument is therefore described as an informal fallacy. Not because a straw man would like wear jeans instead of a suit, even though he probably would, but because it isn't the form that's fallacious. The fallacy comes from the context, the fact that the straw man isn't dealing with the actual argument. The hot shower example used exaggeration to avoid the actual argument, but a straw man can also be constructed through oversimplification. Consider the argument, cars are much more dangerous than alligators. With the counter argument, how can you say alligators aren't dangerous? Didn't you hear about that boy that was recently killed by an alligator? Did you catch the straw man there? The argument was never alligators weren't dangerous. It was cars are more dangerous. It doesn't matter how dangerous alligators are. As long as cars pose more danger than alligators, the argument remains valid. The counter argument was a straw man, constructed by oversimplifying the original argument. Straw man arguments often work by appealing to a strong emotional belief we might already have, and they could be true for extra deception. This is the bait. We don't see the trap because our brains have locked into that juicy steak sitting right there. Their detection also typically requires a bit of mental effort. Quite a barrier, because our brains be lazy. To avoid committing a straw man fallacy, you must first actually care about not misrepresenting the argument that is being presented to you. You wouldn't like someone mischaracterizing your position, so don't do it to them. Be careful using phrases like, so what you're saying is... But you're just saying that's the way it is. I'm not saying anything. So So if you want domination... to dominate, is that what you're saying? No. Right, so you're saying you've done your research and women are unhappy dominating men. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. You're saying, well, that's just a fact of life. Women aren't necessarily going to get... So you were saying that, by and large, women are too agreeable to get the pay rises they I'm, deserve, no, I'm, but you're saying that makes them unhappy. No, I'm not saying that so far. You're saying program. it makes them miserable. No, I said the, So you don't believe it. in equal pay. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. Most you're sure. saying that women aren't intelligent enough to run these top companies? No, I didn't say that at all. You said you're saying that trans activists no. could lead to the deaths of millions of people. What no, I'm doing? saying that the... Ph- Attempt to fully understand the argument given to you and do the opposite. Steal man the opposing argument. Make the argument you are opposing as strong as you can before you try to argue against it. Build your arguments out of steel and not out of straw.